Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the Jorah, um, we are all here today so that the truth can come out about the stop made by that man over there, Officer Capitale, versus my client, Big Truck Series Review. And in doing so, I'm going to show you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that my defendant was absolutely not doing 70 miles per hour when the officer claimed he was. We are also going to show that he indeed did not do any unsafe starts or whatever they may call them up here in these parts. Uh, he, sir, your honor, he has uh, one of those SRT vehicles, which is capable of doing zero to 60 in a very short period of time and has uh, next generation Brembo brakes. And these brakes make it possible to maintain these speeds while not posing a threat to anyone else. And I am about to show you Defense Exhibit A. And in Defense Exhibit A, you will clearly be able to see that my client at no point was doing 70 miles per hour. The officer has clearly, clearly perjured himself. And I would also like to point out, ladies and gentlemen, that this officer specifically suggested to my client that he partake in illegal street racing on Ocean Parkway, which would possibly endanger my client's life. And on top of that, could possibly be used as entrapment for my client. Why, I tell you, why would an officer ever make a suggestion to a defendant that he go and do something illegal in a part of town when the client wasn't even doing anything necessarily illegal in the very beginning. So, ladies and gentlemen, please just sit back and enjoy this defense exhibit A. Thank you, Yana. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Yeah, Lincoln's not very smart. I mean, they've decided that they just want to make more econo boxes. The problem is... You've, you're up against Hyundai, you're up against fucking Lexus, you're up against Toyota. It's like, you can't win that. If you don't make cars that have, like, standout character, it's like, you can forget it. Like, Lincoln fucked up so bad with that Continental. And they didn't even have to. And they did. And they, I mean, they screwed up bad. Oh, shit. Woo, slow to a stop. Uh, slow to a stop. Got the, got the winter wrap here. Oh boy. I can't believe we got two days until vacation. We got Christmas vacation coming up. I had enough. I had enough. I'm thinking about going to Thailand and get some vacation done. At this point in the video, the officer is directly behind me. This is the corner of Ocean and Sunrise, which is listed on the ticket that the officer claims I was doing 70 miles per hour from this stop. I. As you can see in this video, never exceeded 57 miles per hour. When I questioned the officer as to how he possibly tracked me at 70 miles per hour, he claimed that he had quote unquote kept pace with me and then would not explain further. Okay, well, my uh, camera's on. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Hmm. Well, how about that? <sighs> oh, man. 
This is like being a YouTuber almost. License, registration, insurance card, please. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Uh, it's you? in my uh, pocket. Uh, can I ask uh, what, what Let I get? Let me get information first. Okay, sure. Talk, right, uh, can I get out? Can I get out? This Where is my is back you? pocket. Back pocket. Yeah. Lean forward. Lean forward. It's kind of tight. Okay. Uh, fuck. Wait, um, I may have to get out to get my wallet. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You and your two cars together? Uh, yes, we are. So, uh, I ain't got to you guys racing down Sunrise Highway. I swear to God, we're not racing. We are. Well, you take off in front of me and you go 70 down Sunrise, it appears that the race is going on. 70? Still 70 at the light. Put down your car. We're, we're just going to DJF. I mean, okay. Is there a rush? Is there a reason to get there? Is it an emergency? It's kind of late. It's kind of late. We can be a little more late. Let me get your right license, registration, insurance card. Okay. Do me a favor. Put your headlights on. They're not on already. Headlights. Are they on? Oh wait. Is that okay? No, no, no. Listen, sir. I don't have any of those modified lights and stuff. I don't have any of that. I don't have. Yeah, one of them does have them. I'll be perfectly honest, but I don't have. I I don't mod and nothing like that. I don't. I don't have any of that stuff on my car. No. There's no modified lights. There's none of that stuff. Is this a good address for you, Jamaica? Yeah. Who lives in Freeport? That's um, where I was registered because I just got another house. I moved out to, um, what is it called? Where are you uh, live? Jamaica or Freeport? Um, both, actually. Where, where do you sleep? 129 for the, the address that's on my uh, driver's license. Jamaica? Yeah. Okay, so what's going on in Freeport? It's the second house. I can't believe that. Yeah, sure. I can't. I can't believe that. I can't. Yeah. I mean, come on. This is a fast, fast truck. I know that, right? Yeah. The speed traps all up and down Sunrise Highway. You can't be racing, your boys. Go out to Ocean Parkway. Okay. Can I ask you what? So, what did you give me? All right. So you have speed. Unsafe start and expired inspection. Um, okay. Now you say un. Oh, you say unsafe start. What's that? You say unsafe start. Unsafe start. How unsafe? What do you okay. mean? I'm not. Listen. I'm not going to discuss this in front of you here. You want to go to court? We'll do it there. I'm not gonna oh yeah. Court. No, I absolutely. Okay. I'm going to go to court, okay. but I just want to know what I. All violations are listed right there. How many do I have? You have three. Three. And what are the three again? They're all listed there. But what, no, but I just want to know where to write, where to read it. Right there. There's listed violations. Okay, so okay. unsafe starting. What's the second one? Speed and zone. And how much? And you have this on radar? No, pace. It's listed there. As pace. Hey, what's pace? I followed you. Okay. You followed me not, at not, seventy miles an hour. Sure. I'm not going to hold court in the street. No, okay. I just want you. To, I just want you to understand, because like, like the thing about it is, I don't understand at what point could I have gotten seventy miles per hour, and if I have to, if I have to like submit my own. Uh, what is it like? Then my own data yeah, stuff? No, well, well, you you leaving? I just want to talk about this. No, if you want, we could pull over a little bit more because I don't understand. But what was the third one? What was the third one? It's the last page of the paper. Because I, you, you guys give like a scroll of this stuff, so I'm just trying to figure this out. And wait, wait, wait! I have insurance. I have insurance. No, I have insurance. It's le It's I have insurance. I can show it to you right now. Yeah, you see, <laughs> he said insurance expired. Now that's a fix it and forget to. Well, that was painful to watch. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I do declare this was an absolute miscarriage of justice. This is, without a doubt, probably one of the most heinous miscarriages of justice I've ever seen. To not have a radar detector and then to accuse my client sitting right over there 
of speeding 70 miles per hour in this 40 mile per hour zone in danger of life as we know it. I'm very disappointed. I have to say, after seeing this and then seeing the recommendation by a legally bonded officer that my client go partake in a legal street race and elsewhere, I have to say, I'm dumbfounded. I've never seen or heard anything like this ever. And it is under those circumstances, ladies and gentlemen, that I move to dismiss all charges against my client. You see, as you can ascertain, my client is innocent. He is clearly innocent. In fact, the only thing he is guilty of is his own success. You see, my client was merely going from one restaurant to another restaurant to partake in adult beverages. Not too much, might I add. They weren't going to drink too much. Nothing illegal. But I have to say that this behavior by this officer is absolutely unacceptable. And under those uh, situations, I move that my client be freed, be cleared, and that all records that claiming my client are criminal are expunged. And I'd also like to knock out that ridiculous failure to produce insurance ticket too, because that officer could have said, you know, son, your insurance, this card right here is not uh, currently valid. So maybe why don't you produce another one? Giving my client a chance to have produced another one would have saved the people of the city and the state of New York, it would have saved them considerable amounts of money because they wouldn't have had to print up all of this garbage ticket paper when clearly he has a valid insurance card. So, ladies and gentlemen, Ajora, I, at this point, I decided I'm going to rest my case and I'm going to leave the logic of letting my client free up to you. Thank you very much, everyone.